Received a question from a customer, how do I change a color to a specific Pantone color that my customer gave me? We'll do that in Corel. There are probably different ways of doing it, but this is the easiest way i found. As you can see on the screen, there is no color palettes showing, so I'm going to add some. I'm going to go up the window, go to color palette. I like to work with CMY color, so I'll select that palette. Go back up the window and color palette again. I'm going to add the Pantone solid color. Okay, you can see my color palettes here on the right hand side. If I wish to expand those and take a look at all the colors, these are my Pantone. If I hover over the color, it will give me the Pantone numbers. And I'll put that back in the same way with the CMYK. I can expand that out and look at all the different colors available. Okay, and if you're not sure which palette is which, you can just hover over it here and it will tell you. This is the Pantone. And that's the default, the, the uh, CMYK. Okay, first we want to bring in a design. I'm going to go to my window, go to Docker, go to Scrapbook, and Browse. This is where I click, keep my uh, clip art. And this is in a CD from Stalls called uh, Template and Clip Art. I'll pick out one here with a lot of color. Let's see, this, this will work okay. Okay, so we have a color now. Now, we use this as an example. If a customer wishes to change the gold or yellow um, color here, that we can change that, say, to a blue. I select the design here. I'm going to go up and ungroup all the different uh, objects in here. And if I click on that gold or yellow, if you look in the lower right hand corner, it'll show you the color here. If I double click on it, it'll bring up the uh, uniform fill colors. And this is a Pantone Yellow C. So we're going to use this for an example. The customer gives you a specific number. Say you want to change that to a blue. Let's try uh, 2925. Okay, if this is the number they gave you and this is what they wanted to change it to, you can see that's the old color here and this is the new color. Say OK. And you can see that it changed the yellow or the gold to the uh, blue color. Even if I click on that, double click on the blue, it'll show me that's Pantone 2925C. And that's what the customer requested. So it's pretty easy to do. Uh, you can also, if you wish, if you like these colors and you want to save them, you can create your custom uh, palette. And one way of doing that is I want to go up to Edit and Select All. I want to make sure all objects in this design is selected. I can go back up the window, go to my color palette, and I can create a palette from selection. And we'll call it Night. Now you'll see the color palette here on the right. These are all the colors in this design. So anytime I bring a design in, I'm working with a, uh, different colors and I like that particular color and I want to save it to a custom uh, color palette. That's why I created it right here. So. And I called that the night. So you can call it whatever you wish for a heading. So anyway, that's adding uh, some color palettes, uh, changing it to a specific Pantone color that a customer gave you. Hope that was helpful, and if you have any questions, just give me a call. Thank you.